The Sheevan juggernaut, Sepanus, is now en route to the jump point leading to Terry Vasudan space. Command ordered all units to rally in Gamma Draconis in three hours' time. Now we have accounted for most of our fleet. At least six warships have failed to reach the rendezvous point. We can wait for them no longer. The GTBA Security Council has authorized the immediate destruction of the Nassos subspace portal. To demolish the Nassos portal, we will detonate the Nissan bomb, an experimental new weapon under development at the Hideki Institute on in the Vega system. No its specifications are highly classified. Physicists claim the Nissan bomb has more explosive power than any other warhead in our arsenal. Sufficient to destroy any small craft within a three kilometer radius. The size of the bomb prohibits tactical deployment. Small task force will oversee the demolition of the Nassos, while the bulk of the Allied fleet blockades the jump node leading to the densely populated propeller system. Command has begun the process of evacuating the 250 million civilians inhabiting Capella, the largest exodus since the Great War. The Colossus will remain in that system to engage the Sabonis should... At 22.30 hours, the GTVA announced its plan for the destruction of the Gnosis device. For strategic and scientific reasons, we will not attack the portal with the main guns of our warships. The demolition of the subspace portal will be accomplished with the use of the experimental Nissan bomb. Our first objective will be to sanitize the area. Observers report that she and scouting wings have already entered Gamma Draconis, and enemy activity will intensify before the arrival of the Savannah's juggernaut. The remnant, a Sobek class corvette, will monitor the operation and provide fire support. Once we have eliminated the enemy presence, a freighter carrying a Nissan warhead will deposit the bomb at the detonation site. This is the first deployment of the weapon prototype. Because computer simulations predict only a 40% chance of success, we have two more warheads standing by.
Mars support, but to no avail. The subspace vortex generated by the Gnosis device is stabilized, and the Sathanas entered the Gamma Dracona system. Our forces are standing by to intercept the Juggernaut at the Capella Jump Node. We do not know how long the Nebula Jump Node will remain open. In theory, it could be centuries before it collapses again. Scientists assure us that we have gathered sufficient data to reconstruct the Gnosis. The Sathanas decimated our fleet at the Capella node. Your bomber wing will be scrambled to destroy the Juggernaut's forward beam turrets before it reaches Capella. We must destroy at least two turrets to give the Colossus a fighting chance. We will be armed with a new long-range trebuchet missile and the Helios torpedo, the GTVA's most powerful tactical warhead. Alpha Wing, your mission is to assist the Phoenicia. We must hold this node against the Shivan advance. Your objective. Command, I will not jeopardize the lives of my crew. Either you deploy more ships now or we will withdraw. We cannot hold this position without additional fleet assets. Alpha, your objective is to destroy the Juggernaut's forward beam cannons. Target the tip of each of the four arms of the Sathanas. The Phoenicia will hold back the Sathanas until you complete your objective. without additional fleet assets. Alpha, your objective is to destroy the Juggernaut's forward beam cannons. Target the tip of each of the four arms of the Savannah. The Venetia will hold back the Savannah until you complete your objectives.
Alpha Wing, your mission is to assist the Phoenicia. We must hold this node against the Shivan advance. Your objective. Command, I will not jeopardize the lives of my crew. Either you deploy more ships now or we will withdraw. We cannot hold this position without additional fleet assets. Alpha, your objective is to destroy the Juggernaut's forward beam cannon. Target the tip of each of the four arms of the Sathanas. The Phoenicia will hold back the Sathanas until you complete your objectives. Your mission is to assist the Phoenicia. We must hold this node against the Shivan advance. Your objective. Command, I will not jeopardize the lives of my crew. Either you deploy more ships now or we will withdraw. We cannot hold this position without additional fleet assets. Alpha, your objective is to destroy the Juggernaut's forward beam cannon. Target the tip of each of the four arms of the Savannah. The Phoenicia will hold back the Savannah until you complete your objectives.
failure is not an option here. Alpha Wing just resolved a tactical engagement, Thebes. Recon has sighted a Demon-class destroyer, Designation Bella. The warship will be up on us momentarily. Alpha and Gamma, you will be tasked with destroying the Demon's beam cannon. The Thebes will provide fire support. Reinforcements are standing by. A Demon-class destroyer has jumped in. Command is platform. They must know this mission is suicide. The Sathanas entered the Capella system and obliterated the line of defense we had established to intercept it. We now have no choice but to send in the Colossus. With its beam cannon still operational, the Sathanas has sufficient firepower to win this engagement. Your wing will be scrambled immediately. There is no time to select your ship or armament. You have only one forward beam cannon to neutralize. Acquire your target and engage.
have scrambled a wing of fighters, designation Cancer. Do not let them impede your mission, Alpha.
red line. We're giving it all we've got. This is the final entry in the personal log of Admiral Aiken Vosh, Supreme Commander of the Neo-Terran Front. Our encounter with the Sheevans has vindicated all I have fought for these past 30 years. My life's work has been achieved. I have created the technology to enable communication between the Sheevans and the human race. Although our first contact was rudimentary and crude, I have initiated the first phase of a new alliance with the Destroyers, an alliance upon which the fate of humanity depends. As a young pilot, I have battled against the rebels of the Great War, the Galactic Terran Intelligence, whose research of Shiva technology and biology would form the cornerstone of my project. The Terran Vasudan Alliance buried this knowledge, but I resurrected it. I alone realized our species had no future with the Vasudans. If we are to survive, our destiny must lie elsewhere. As I make this final entry, my crew is preparing to scuttle the Iceni and board the Shivan transports. We embark on a miraculous journey toward a new horizon. This tragic era of hatred and misunderstanding between our races is over. On this day, for the first time in my life, I am filled with joy. At 0345 hours, the GTBA Colossus destroyed the Sheevan juggernaut Sethalis near the Gamma Draconis jump node in Capella. This victory proves without a doubt our technological superiority over our great war nemesis. For the second time, the Alliance defeated a species which has annihilated entire civilizations across this galaxy. With the Colossus, we will have nothing more to fear. We 
still have much to accomplish, however. The Cephalus inflicted moderate damage against the Colossus, though its systems remain 80% operational. Terran and the Sudan engineers anticipate it will take several months to fully repair the warship's hull. Until we completely secure the nebula, our evacuation of Capella's civilian population will proceed as planned. With the immediate Sheevan threat neutralized, we must now focus on capturing Admiral Bosch. Recon units are scouring the nebula for any sign of his command ship. The Santec will be a task force assigned to recover the Icini once its position has been determined. Commander disclosed new information concerning the NTF's secret agenda. We now know that Admiral Bosch has developed the Sheevan communication technology that transmits and modulates quantum pulses. Bosch secretly resurrected the defunct GTI project involving captured Sheevan specimen, terminated after the GTI's Indies Rebellion in 2335. Bosch referred to his project as ETAC, short for ETAM Nanki. Tower that may have inspired the story of Babel. Through a rigorous study of ancient archaeology, Bosch learned the location of the Nassos subspace device, the portal to the region of the galaxy where the ancients first encountered the Sheetans. This genocidal war was a smokescreen to cover his plunder of ancient sites in the Sudan systems. In the map, he learned how to activate the portal and deployed the Trinity to power up the device. Integral to Bosch's vision of neo terror was an alliance with the Shivans upon their return to our systems. When Bosch realized his regime was on the brink of collapse, he ordered his forces into the nebula to make contact. You are now authorized to use the GTW-19 Cersei. Derived from advanced in the end of the ring. Cersei. Reconnaissance has located the NTF Iceni. Bosch has made contact with the Sheevans a second time. An Azrael class transport is currently docked with the vessel. A second transport appears to be waiting nearby. We do not know if the Sheevans are boarding the Iceni, or if Bosch and his followers are boarding the transports. Our objective is to capture the Iceni and the ETAC technology. Two Sheevan cruisers are guarding the vessel, the Asmidaj and the Sameo. Once the cruisers are... To our knowledge, the Iceni holds the only example of the E-Tech technology in existence. Bosch took extraordinary measures to destroy all evidence of his research. If we fail...
Panzer Wing.
At 1640 hours, reconnaissance detected the Shivan transport carrying Admiral Bosch and his subordinates deep within the Shivan controlled zone of the nebula. A wing of Mars repelled our recon unit, but we now have an approximate location. Alpha and Beta, your mission is to find and disable the Azrael transport. The attack must be executed quickly before the transport escapes. Capturing Bosch.